April 7th, 2017. Ram pump upgrades completed. New standpipe installed. Two inch line comes into a union, goes into the four inch standpipe. There's a drain plug on the bottom. Two inch output on top, reduces to inch and a half, comes to another union. Shoots on down to the ram pump. Also put in a two inch hydrant. Uh, you'll notice there's also an adapter there. So you can screw on the clear tube and get jugs of fresh spring water, fresh clear spring water right out of the uh, standpipe. A uh, couple things this does. This ensures a little bit better flow. It brings uh, the in inlet water to a lower elevation. It used to be up on top of that 2x4 attached to the tree and it now comes in down there so it gets a lot more vertical drop from the spring to the standpipe which gives us better volume flow and uh, also it gives a place for stones and heavier objects to settle out in the standpipe and be left behind. Uh, I'm going to eventually add a secondary filter. There's a screen filter on the intake. But I'm going to add a secondary filter down into the standpipe, uh, maybe loofah sponges or something like that, as a, as a secondary entrapment for sediment debris. As you can see the water cycling up and down in the standpipe now. Anyway, she's steady now, she should have good supply volume and should run like a champ. Um, uh, with the new upgrades, uh, I skewed my pipe a little bit, so I have to come back and do some straightening on that. And uh, at some point I may change this to steel pipe. I've looked into it, but steel pipe's kind of expensive, so uh, for the moment I won't be. But uh, we got it running consistently and reliably again, with good water volume delivery. And, uh, that's how she's supposed to run. This is solid. This is steady. So, four inch standpipe upgrade completed. And, uh, had to mess with the elevation a little bit in here for some reason. With the new standpipe, I actually had to drop, drop where it sat because it was sitting on top of this and I dropped down to the notch that you see I made there and it still wasn't quite staying above the intake when it was cycling so I took it down a couple more inches now we seem to be solid so uh, <clears throat> I would recommend anybody building a ram pump put in a nice standpipe system like this and uh, I would say you want your water to over flood inside the standpipe to over flood your output fitting. I would say you want a solid eight inches um, so that when it cycles or when water supply is low, you're not gonna get down below your intake. Because when you get down below this intake point, you start sucking on air with your water and that causes double clacking and pump, pump the pump to stop failures of different types. So highly recommend uh, uh, making sure that your output is well below your uh, your static water level. Also, uh, you'll notice, uh, I don't know if you noticed this before or not, but this was not uh, bumping, moving quite as much before as it is now. Uh, I attribute that to a full volume and a stronger ram pump pulse. And I think it will equate to a little bit more water delivery, especially uh, Especially when I, I'm going to shear this up with some better braces and brackets and solidify this. And I'm probably going to pour a concrete mount under the pump now that we've tested it and know it all works well. And uh, give it a nice solid base to operate off of and that should improve our efficiency as well. So anyway, that's the upgrade. Uh, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.